Okay, let's go ahead and check out the dish and try and see, help show you some stuff that I'm seeing some issues on after all this time I have in Starling. Here we go. So excuse all the like wires and stuff like that, having that going back over towards my house. But I got some weights going down. I put it back on the tripod mount. I had to take it off of the roof. Oh, see, it just, it can't handle the wind anymore. So let's see if I can get this to show up here. Do a zoom out here real quick. So if I go flat on here, do you see that? Just that little bit back and forth, barely having to put any force on it. And it's not the base that's moving at all. Try and get all that in shot. That's just the dish up here. So from the videos that I've seen where people have sat and taken these apart, I actually can't tell if it's my servos or the gearing that has actually started to go over time. Curious to see if anybody else is having some of the same issue going on right now. As for like rotation back and forth, it seems fairly stable. It's just that, that wiggle. And so that tiny little bit of movement causes me to have some drops that are happening. And with how far out all the different dishes are and everything, I just, I can't see myself trying to order another one to try and get that fixed. So it'd be cool if there was a nice, easy fix, but let's try and see what it's looking like on the actual dish on top here next. So as I start looking in close on here along the edges, I know it was glued in there. For the most part, I mean, I'm not seeing really any changes in it. You can see where it had been glued some right there or something in the manufacturing stuff. But the surface is still nice. It's not cut up or anything. I don't have the trouble like people were having where cats are going on top there when I have two dogs sitting around the house keeping away the cats and stuff. Usually whenever it rains, it goes right off. It's weird to see if you can pick that up, all those little dimple patterns coming across there that's just dirt wipe it off a little bit and it's gone but i wish i could have it up on the roof but from where the angle that i have it right now it's able to set and pick up the northern sky just fine so yeah we'll get that view coming across there so, so as i start looking um, like in terms of, like the cable and things like that it's holding up great I haven't seen any cracks or anything, especially the stuff that's been there right in the sun a lot more. Holding up in the weather, which is awesome. So great, nice outdoor cable that's been holding up over time. Um, I've had some other Cat6 cables that I've had to use like up on a wire before and that stuff just broke down within a year or two. So it's nice seeing that this is holding up a lot better. Granted, I think this is a lot different, like a lot much better material that's on there which is nice to see so overall i'm impressed with it i do like the the other shape of what's happening i've debated on trying to actually put this inside so i'm not seeing all the blocks and everything around a uh what is it like those whiskey barrels like cut out a half whiskey barrel or a third of the shape down create that shape because one thing that maybe you can see in here is that this is at a lower level in the surroundings so a lot of the wind in my area all comes down towards the camera right here and so i'm trying to help like cut out different ways so that it doesn't wiggle as much when we do get wind storms it still still does happen still does set and cut out but other than that i'm pretty happy with it